What's going on guys? Wes back with another review. This time we're going to talk about something that is kind of ancillary to the fitness and health that I like to focus on with the tech and that's something that I use for an everyday carry. We're talking about the Ridge Wallet. The reason I think this is important is because if you are someone that is into fitness and adventure and everything else, there are certain things that you carry with yourself every single day. And I need a wallet that can take a beating. Now the Ridge Wallet is something that is less traditional than what you would normally have. And as time has gone on, we have seen an evolution in wallet technology where it's come from the more traditional bifold or trifold or with, with people carrying these things like the Costanza wallet, just very thick, carry in your back pocket and is just super uncomfortable to more minimalistic wallets that I have had for a number of years. And because cash transactions are becoming less and less popular and less and less necessary, you only need to carry a certain amount of credit cards. Now, the problem I've had with these minimalist wallets is they are smaller, but because of that, I think perhaps they sacrifice a lot of durability, that they aren't as thick with the materials that they're using, and there's an issue with the trade-off between. Now that leaves us back to the Ridge Wallet. And on this channel, if you're new to it, I like to focus on patents because that's gonna give me the most objective viewpoint on what the innovative concept is of the product that I'm looking at. And there is a patent application, but not a patent. And the patent application was filed a number of years ago, which tells me that they were never granted a patent. But that again, doesn't necessarily mean that the product they have isn't better than other products. From what I recall when the Kickstarter launched with the Ridge Wallet, they were one of the first, if not the first, to use metal in place of the more traditional leather. And the reason for that, again, is durability. Now, the wallet I have is their base model and it uses aluminum. Because of the lifetime warranty that they have on their products, I didn't necessarily see the purpose of going up in the materials except for maybe the feel because I'll be honest with you, I haven't felt what the titanium and the carbon fiber feel like. Now they do look different and so if that's something that's going to be more pleasurable to your eye or maybe that they do feel different, then that's going to be the reason that you go up. Now for those of you that are thinking about getting the Ridge Wallet, I just want to give you what the owner and the inventor of the Ridge Wallet believes is the innovative concept of this. Because like I said, they did not have a patent granted but the patent application, which is published on the USPTO, is something that you can read and see exactly what they were trying to achieve. And what they were trying to achieve, again, first off, minimalist. They wanted a slim profile and they wanted minimal materials. And that's what they built. There is a front and back comprised of aluminum on either side and then a strap. Now, the strap isn't your traditional money clip. It is a strap that goes over with another slim profile to keep cash in there. And the compression of the wallet keeps the cash snug, as well as any sort of contents that you have in between. The reason they went with a strap instead of a traditional money clip is because of the hooking that could happen when it's going in and out of your pocket. I've, I mean, I have experienced this in the past with other money clips, so it's a minor annoyance, but it is annoyance. I did get attracted to just this having this strap in the rare cases that I do have cash. Perhaps that you're making the big jump from something like a bifold trifold to a minimalist wallet. And what this is gonna do is gonna make you choose only the essential cards that you need to carry day to day. For myself, it's gonna be my driver's license, I carry a MasterCard, a Visa, uh, and then a, my debit card. Everything else is either gonna be on my phone or Perhaps if I do have other credit cards as I'm cycling through, then I literally do cycle them through because you don't need to carry a big fat wallet with you everywhere. So that's one thing that it's gonna force you to do and it's gonna be great because this wallet is a slim profile. And then even over my other minimalist wallets that I've had in the past, it does have a slimmer profile because there's gonna be exuding edges in the other leather wallets uh, to account for the seaming but this one is just the size of the cards in my wallet. 
Now, in conclusion, because there is no actual patent protecting the technology that Ridge would like to have protected, there are going to be competitors out there. And that's not to say that their product is any lesser of the Ridge wallet. I personally just knew of the Ridge wallet as the one that is first to market. And as someone who appreciates entrepreneurship and innovation, I like to reward those who have created. But if someone else did come out with a better mousetrap, then of course I'm gonna go check out and see what they have to offer. Back to the price point of the $80, it is on the higher end of your more minimalist wallets. Even if you go up another 20 or 30 or so, you're gonna start getting into leather designer wallets. It's just all gonna depend on what your price point. I will fully admit that I probably spent a little extra money because of the ridge, the reputation, and that now that I have it in hand, it feels great. I have no regrets with the purchase and hopefully the information that I've relayed to you in this video can help you with your purchase as well. So, if you like that review, there's plenty more. This is more of a everyday carry version of what I normally do if, as far as adventure, fitness, and just sports related innovative products. If you enjoyed this review, go ahead, smash that like button. Uh, I would appreciate a subscribe. That's the best way to support me in growing this channel. And appreciate your time. Go do something awesome. Peace.